What did we have? We had a high wind warning, campsites were moved, everyone had to pack up and change location, trees were going to fall down. A lot of rain and then we had the police show up with the SES uh, to evacuate everyone because of a hailstorm that was coming through and at this point the campsite's an inch deep in water. Uh, and then we had a fire in the morning so absolutely everything went wrong. But because it went wrong it was the best event I've ever had. The Energy Breakthrough is a 24 hour event um, up in Maryborough. We were in human powered bikes. We ended up coming fifth in our category and we won best first year school. The wrap this for 2022 at least wasn't about the ride as such, although we did remarkably well there too. It was more about you know, the relationships that were formed and, and the passion that was developed in this group. And these kids made sure that no one got left behind and helped each other pack up each other's tents and get all of their gear and run up and offer a hand to, to other teams that, that were struggling. And There were a few interesting, let's say, um, social dynamics before the camp and, and watching those kids support each other and get on the radio and congratulate each other and help each other and that whole concept of, of building oneself and building character and all the rest through adversity was, was just crazy. These kids were, you know, amazing. Yeah, I was like really struggling at school and with friendships and stuff but EB was something that like helped me kind of get back into like loving school and the people there. So yeah, that was really good. Definitely give it a go. Um, the friendships you make, uh, the things you learn about yourself, um, it's all worth it. I feel like I've become a lot more closer with the teachers that we went with and now I feel like I'm more comfortable talking to them and asking them for help, whether it's school related stuff or not. For me, when I think back on my school journey as a student, I remember student exchange, I remember a rugby tour, uh, I remember AGSV sport, and you know, it's all of these activities and these experiences I had that are firmly locked away. To me, the success is that they want to do it again this year. We've had parents inquiring about it. We've got new year sevens that want to know if we're running a junior team already. It becomes less about just the academic and it becomes more about you know, building the whole person. We're, we're hoping to enter the HPV Victoria series. So there's four, four other races throughout the year. And so I'm hoping to kind of start to turn it into effectively a sport at the school. You know, that's maybe linked with STEM. Then we can start looking at the whole sustainability side of the program and how do we make that cross-curricular and, you know, I guess this is more towards a final vision of it where, you know, the. English department are helping the kids write letters and applications and the art department are helping the kids design uniforms and you know maybe tech are helping them put it together and all the rest of it and helping us build the trike and physics working on the bike and all of these different components to the project that could come together where it's more than just about a small group of kids doing an activity together it becomes more of a, a whole school mentality and approach to what we're doing and you know that's that's kind of the the far off maybe one day, but um, that's where I'd like it to end up, if possible. <laughs> <laughs>